So my hair is dry. Well, I hope it is. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start to take these out. And I'm going to start from the back. And for the pieces that aren't dry, I'll just pin curl them. And then just, if it's not dry, I'll pin curl my whole hair and then just go back under. Okay, so now I'm going to finger, kind of finger these out, just like this. My hair is crazy. And now I'm going to take my comb and I'm just going to comb the curl. Okay, so with that comb, I could leave it like this, but I don't like big hair. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of big hair at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my elastic clip. And I'm not going to take a lot because this stuff is really heavy. Actually, yeah. This stuff is really heavy, so... I'm just going to put enough to get my hair some shine. Okay, after I do that, I am going to add some coconut oil. And this stuff does a great, coconut oil does a great job of giving my hair some shine.
And now what I'm going to do is wrap my hair and I will be back. I already have a video on how I wrap my hair so I'm just going to do that the exact same way. And I will be back to show you how I put the saran wrap on. So, bye! Hey guys, now with my hair fully wrapped, I'm going to use my glad my flatware. Whatever, yeah, glad wrap, clean wrap, blah. Anyways, and what I do is I just wrap in the direction the way my hair is wrapped because it's very important because if you have creases in your hair, all this happens, then it will also go that, like, the crease will stay and it sucks trying to get it out and you pretty much have to, like, flat iron it to get it to go away. And what I do is I lightly go around it the first time and then after maybe the second or third time, I lifting this up so I can see. I just go tighter and tighter. Around my head. Corner me, Freckle. Did what I had to. I cornered you. Said if you wanted my spot, you were gonna take it. Yes, I will. And then I'm gonna stop. I'm not done. Not one bit. Uh. That's that. And then I'm going to lay this down. Why is it so important for you to be on that wrap? Not tight. But then what I do is I take this and I lay it on top and lay it down. And then it's still going in the direction that my wrap is. There ain't anything on this island worth staying for. I just keep going around. Kind of making sure the top gets tight so it can go down flat. And that's about it. You don't need that much. Because one. Yeah. So my head is all wrapped. Oop. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to sit under my hooded dryer again. But here's the trick. If you sit under it too long, you will literally sweat your hair out and it will become wet. So I only stay under it for like 5 to 10 minutes because I sweat easily. Well, I don't sweat easily, but it just gets really, really hot. And I don't want to sweat my edges to be like extra sweaty. So I don't recommend sitting under there for like 20 minutes. But I mean, if you can, go ahead. Because the longer you sit under there, the more flat it will be. But if you start sweating, then your hair will get wet. So it will kind of like defeat the purpose. So... I've been under the dryer for about 7 10 minutes, and now I'm just going to take this down. I'm just unraveling it. And I'm just going to pick this out. I'm just going to comb this down. are the results to my saran wrap and I will just keep playing with it until I get it the way I like it but these are my results so like I said before thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel bye